Hello everybody, it's Pat here from Techman Pat. Uh, obviously I am called Pat and this is my channel, so I guess that's why I have it in the name. Uh, what we are looking at today is kind of a part two to a video I did a little while back in regards to JB, uh, no, EB. It's one of those EB things. EB selling their own pre-built computers and I wanted to see if that deal was actually worth it. So I did a comparison with uh, their computers to see how well off uh, they were. Now there was some obvious differences. The the Windows 10 wasn't included and I think this time we can, we're gonna include it because there was a lot of people saying, oh, but Windows 10. Well guys, first of all, it's only 150 bucks. Second of all, I'm pretty sure online you can get it even cheaper. Um, check it out, look for it. You'll, you'll find it quite cheaply. In any case, I want to look at another shop, Harvey Norman, because recently I saw some adverts about them being all up into their gaming and selling gaming computers. And I saw somebody mention uh, on, on one of the YouTube ch videos that I did to, to check out Harvey's pre-builds. And I guess this is what we'll do. We're going to compare Harvey Norman's pre-built computer to what we can get on PLE. Uh, and I'm hoping to just grab the most expensive computer they have in Harvey and see if I can build something exactly the same or at least as close as possible uh, to what they have and see how big the price difference is. So guys, let's dig in. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is go shop all products. I think, yeah, shop all products and gaming, and there we go, gaming PCs. So we're gonna go straight into that. Ooh, wow, that was quick. Okay, um, well, oh, what have we got here? Let's go from low, let's go high to low. We've got the Predator Orion G9 P09 600 Gaming PC Desktop. Now, this thing here looks pretty darn cool. 4,498. Now, th this case, I haven't actually seen this case before, this Predator case. So that might be hard to replicate. Um, so I guess the, the question here is, is, do we go straight into it and, and check this one out? Um, well, look, let's let's go back because uh, I can't duplicate this case. Let's let's see something more reasonable here. Um, MSI. I think we'll have to go with this Pyron Infinity, and it's on clearance. All right, let's see if their clearance price. Uh, we'll come back to this one after we do this one. Pyron Infinity GDX 1080 seems like a reasonable one. In win case, I've seen that before, and I'm pretty sure we can find it. This one's a little bit cheaper. Another backpack one. Wow, that's weird. Anywho. I haven't seen these cases. All right, let's get into it. GTX 1080, $4,000. Let's see if we can do better than what Harvey Norman is offering. So we've got an in-win case here, but let's go into specifications, see what we've got. So barcode, no product, desktops, okay. Pyron brand. This must be the pre-built company that does it. Color black, okay. A compatibility windows, mixed reality, mixed reality ultra, what? Who reads this? Intel Core i7 7700K was the same one that I've got. 4.2 processor, da da da, 16 gigs of RAM, doesn't say what type. 2 gig HDD, 256 SSD, must be an M.2 slot if I am correct looking here. Yes, there it is. Um, and no monitor, obviously, and GDX 1080 and Windows 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna include that Windows 10 this time. So first of all, let's start with the case. Uh, so it's in win, let's search for in win. Uh, oh, that was quick. I think that's exactly it. Let me just flick to this, this one here. Uh, yep, 250 bucks. Let's add that to our cart. Um, what have we got next? We've got Intel Core i7. So we're gonna flick to CPUs, uh, Intel, and 7700, 7700K. There you go, 489. Um, cooler, actually. We need to look at a cooler. And I just saw it here before. What is this? This is a Corsair. I must say it somewhere. Corsair, Corsair. Ooh, ooh, liquid cooler, liquid cooler. Do, 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 do. Just says liquid cooler. Pretty sure, I should say. Oh, there we go. Corsair H1 liquid cooling system. So let's see if we can find the exact same one. Corsair H100 uh, V2. We'll take the new one. One and why not? 150 bucks. There we go. Where we're at, we're at $800 already. Uh, let's go Windows 10. You know what? Let's get that out of the way so we can feel very good about ourselves. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, what's this one? Home retail. What? Flash drive. Oh, well, you know what? Do we need a flash? Let's take the one with the flash drive. It's $10 more than the OEM here. Um, and we'll, we'll have flash drive because obviously we are not buying a DVD drive for this. This computer does not have a DVD drive. 
So we're saving a little bit of money there. Um, okay, so hard drives we've got, let's go back to specifications, a two terabyte, um, yeah, so it'll be a 3.5 inch, and we just want two terabytes. Here's a two terabytes hybrid, Seagate Fire Cuda, all good. Uh, and an HDD 256, and that will definitely be an M.2 slotted one. M.2 CCD, so it'll be this one, M2. Um, what can we pick? That's uh, Evo. Evo's good. 250. 250 is good enough. Are you happy with 250? I think we'll, we'll, we can go with 250. I mean, all right, there's an NVMe here. NVMe is much better, and it's four dollars more than a standard one. All right, so we've got our NVMe here. I'm to do slot to do uh, GTX 1080. Let's grab that uh, GTX. I'm leaving the motherboard to last because I'm actually not sure which one it is. So. Let's go to do, 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 graphics cards. We're going to 10 series. And let's have a look here. We've got a 1060 here, 1070, 1080 Ti, 1080. Oh, 1080 and 1080 Ti, the difference is about $200. You know what? Let's go all out. We're, we're building a really nice computer. Let's go Ti. Bugger that, let's go Ti. So that's 1,149, um, and now the motherboard. Now, it doesn't say what the motherboard here is. I mean, that's not very helpful, is it? So let's have a look at this picture here. Open image a new tab, zoom in. What do we got? It does look a little bit strange. We still gotta get the RAM. It's, it's two slots, it's got four slots there. What is the gaming pro? Oh, if that light wasn't there, if that light wasn't there, we could probably figure out what it was. Let's have a look into the side panel here. Oh, that logo, that logo, that logo is MSI. MSI, the Red Dragon, MSI, Red Dragon. Motherboards, motherboards. Um, and it's a, that one, Intel socket, and it's an MSI. It's an MSI, what, it's got a big red one here, big red, red, red. Am I still looking MSI? I'll go by a manufacturer, there you go, MSI. That's not it, that's not it. Oh, is that it? That must be it. Look look at the side there. There's the red one. There's the long one there. There's little two here. Yep, that looks like exactly it. Uh, let's just have a look at that front thing there. Oh, has it got a little bit light up? Yeah, that, that must. Uh, look, it's it's as close as we're gonna get, I think. It, it looks like the same design. And to be honest, the motherboard's not gonna change that much. Um, so obviously it's, it is what it is. Now, RAM, 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 RAM. Where are we at? Total 2,600, that's not too bad. Uh, RAM, 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 there we go, DDR4. And we just want uh, two slotted, so it's total of 16. So 16 kit, Vengeance, oh, just go with the better one. $309, we're at 2,917. What are we missing? We've got our case, we've got our CPU, we've got our cooler, we've got our Windows 10, we've got our PSU, that's what we're missing, and it doesn't say what it is. It does not say anything. Description, G Sync, no, separate featuring, no, multiple effects, RGB, yes, of course, Core i7, nope, nothing helpful here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to find one ourselves. So power, supplies, let's, oh look, I, we'll go Corsair, I like Corsair. Um, and we're gonna pick something in the 700s, 860 there, 760. Do you need 860? It's a 1080 Ti, it's pretty efficient. You're not running too many hard drives. One is an M.2 slot. You know what, 760 will be absolutely fine. And what does that leave us at? 3,172. That is insane. That's pretty much four grand, two dollars or four grand, and we're saving nine hundred and what is it, nine hundred, eight hundred and you know, twenty six, twenty eight dollars, nine hundred and twenty eight dollars. That is a difference. So guys, I hope you enjoyed having a quick look at what you can build at PLE or MSY or any other local Australian shop compared to what places like Harvey Norman are selling. This is a ridiculous price and markup. At the end of the day, if you can play with Lego and you can build things in Lego, you can do this, you can build a little computer. And I'm sure you have a friend or obviously YouTube that can, <laughs> that can help you build a computer, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been a little bit educational to find out that you can actually build this stuff yourself for a lot less than you build it at the shop and PC gaming is not expensive. 
Before I go, I do want to have a look at that other computer, that really, really cool one. Um, well, the case was cool, so let's just go home. Oh, go home, select a product, PC gaming. So this is a bit of a bonus at the end of the video. Um, Acer Predator, that wasn't it. That's a very cheap one. Where was that four and a half grand? What difference does this have comparably? So we've got, uh, obviously the case is quite unique and it has Core i7, Intel 8th generation. That's really helpful. Wow, that's so helpful. <laughs> All right, so it's a hybrid HD SSD. Would never buy this for anyone. There is no point. Oh, USB wired keyboard, wired mouse, um, and GTX 1080. 80 gigs, yep. Yeah. Bluetooth, okay, that's no problem at all. You just pick a different motherboard. So what you're showing me here is that the only difference is that might be the newer Intel, which if I pop into CPUs and go into uh, Intel, it'll probably be, wow, a generation. It's on the other one, isn't it, CL? Oh, so it's $20 more, $20 more. So if I add that, Core i7, buy now and remove the 7700K, it's $20 more, so 3192 and a wired keyboard and a wired mouse. Who's gonna buy this? Honestly, don't, don't even bother with this hybrid SSD. You, you, you have an SSD already, and this doesn't have an SSD. This does not have an M.2 slot. Guys, hands down, this is the most ridiculous thing, obviously, apart from the case. The case looks pretty darn cool, and let's see if the case exists in here, but I'm pretty sure that is a custom build one. Predator case, nope, no cases. And if I go into cases here, John's bow in the wind, nah. The only reason to buy this is if you want this case and a bonus Predator mouse pad. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Please subscribe, like, let me know what you think of this stuff. And uh, will you be buying the next computer at PLE or will you be going to Harvey Normans? Catch you later, guys. Bye.